What's up guys, Gun for Newbies back. Wanted to make this video of the um, Springfield Echelon and uh, give some honest feedback. So upon uh, inspecting the firearm, I noticed right off the bat that the back back strap is very, very loose and you can kind of see here, I noticed there was some play in it. So I started wiggling it and this is brand new, never shot gun, um, which I think is really, really obviously not a good fit for the gun. Um, in terms of positives, I guess, um, had really nice slide serrations and grip texture. However, the trigger was like probably the heaviest trigger I've ever felt. Probably like an eight pound trigger or maybe even heavier. I don't know if it was just this specific one or if they're all like that or what. But I did like the slide serrations as I mentioned. Um, the trigger guard was done extremely well. Um, I think the sights were nice. I did like the um, index points that were on the gun as well as the takedown lever. Um, it was definitely a bit of a letdown in terms of quality as far as what I um, saw like in competitive videos. Again, the stippling was really nice. The undercut was nice. Texture was great. Um, I felt that putting in the magazines for some reason was felt very cheap. And I think that the magazine release was definitely not as durable or I guess like audible or tough as I felt like it should have. Um, so that was another negative Again, the um, sight picture was really nice. I really like the U-notch rears trigger. I just could not get over. It was probably one of the worst triggers, if not the worst trigger I've ever felt out of the box. I did like the actual shape of it. Hated the trigger pull and the trigger brake. Um, and I could not get over the rear. Now, also, the guide rod was completely made out of plastic and just a metal spring, which I thought was a big letdown. Um, and as you can see, it just didn't live up to its expectations. So thanks for watching.